Okay, welcome to SAT 3310. This is scripting for administration and automation. Today we're going to be talking about uh, working with files and using Python to work with files. So this is also going to include some introduction uh, information to Python. When we're looking at Python, um, and I should say just even as a, a general advice when, when working with scripts, I, I really want you to get in the habit of using a, a script type template. Um, that script template should have lots of comments, including a script header block where you're talking about things like uh, what class it is, what lab, um, some other information. Here's a good example of that template where we start out, of course, with our shebang and where Python lives. Uh, you can see there's some information there about what the uh, script is. And then I've got different headings for uh, major sections of my Python script. Let's talk about some different Python objects. Uh, Python uh, numbers, strings, lists, dictionaries, tuples, and files. These are all good introduction topics that we can talk about that will also help you uh, when working on your first Python lab. So Python numbers are pretty easy to work with. Uh, you'll find really in general Python itself is very easy to work with. Python is very forgiving. Python is also very easy to read. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a really nice scripting language. Uh, here's some just some real basic examples of using numbers in, in Python. Uh, you can see I've got a list there. I'm mixing integers and, and um, decimals. Uh, you can do some simple math. I've said 1.5 times 4, 2 to the 8th power. Uh, some easy ways of using numbers in Python. I should also mention that in Python, to extend the functionality, Python has this concept of modules. And to use a module, you just say import and then the module name. So in this example, uh, I want to use a, a predefined value of pi. So in Python, I would just import the math module. And then to access the, the individual portions of that module, it's just module name dot individual portion. So I would import math and then I would say math.py and it would give me that value. Um, if I want uh, uh, to use the random number module, I would import random and I would say from the random number module, I want a random number and it would give me a random number zero to one. Um, so it's it's a relatively simple and easy way to to extend the the power and functionality of Python. Um, there's also in the the random module I can say random and I want to just make a choice from that list. Uh, so you can see I just use module random dot choice and then just uh, give my list or array there and it's going to give me a random element out of that. Uh, talking about strings some more, um, strings are really just a collection of bytes in Python. Uh, you can use single or double quotes. It really doesn't matter to Python. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say my food variable is equal to spam. And I want the element number one of my food variable. And you can see that's a uh, lowercase p because recall that uh, these start at element zero. So uh, element zero would be capital S, element one would be P, so on. Uh, if I want to say a range like one to three, I want the elements one through three. It is everything up to but not including. So it would be elements one and two uh, when I say one colon three. So if I said food one through three it would get give me elements one and two which are P and A. So just remember that if you're choosing a range it's up to um, but not including the end value of your range. Other things you can do with strings is you can concatenate them easily. 
Um, I've set food as a variable and I wanna um, concatenate, you just use the plus, say is good. Now because I didn't use a space in there, um, you can see I've got the result would be spam is good. So you would have to put the space in your single quote if you wanna make sure to, um, to have that for you know having nice output. Uh, you can do things like uh, repeat a variable. Uh, so I say food times eight would give me spam, 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 spam. Uh, strings are immutable, meaning if I wanted to change uh, an element, so food recall is spam, and if I said, oh, I want food element one to now equals Z, that's going to be an error because the strings within Perl are not allowed to be changed or um, immutable. 